Welcome back to Mom's Medical. If you're new here, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and hit that bell icon for instant updates. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of maggots. Maggots are the larval stage of certain flies, mainly blowflies from the family Califoridae. Let's break down how these tiny creatures come to life. First up, egg laying. An adult female fly lays her eggs on decaying organic matter. Think dead animals, rotting fruits, or decomposing waste. This substrate is crucial as it provides essential nutrients for the developing larvae. Next, hatching. Within a day or two, depending on temperature and humidity, these eggs hatch into tiny white larvae known as maggots. They're about one to two millimeter long when they first emerge. Then comes feeding. Once hatched, maggots immediately start feeding on the decaying material around them. Their bodies are perfectly adapted for this with specialized mouthparts to consume and digest soft tissues. They also secrete enzymes to break down the organic material even further. Growth is next. Maggots grow rapidly, molting several times as they increase in size. This phase can last from several days to a few weeks, influenced by factors like temperature, food availability, and species. After growing, they enter pupation. Mature maggots stop feeding and seek a safe place to pupate, like burrowing into soil or hiding in crevices. This protects them from predators during this vulnerable stage. Finally, transformation into flies. Inside the pupil casing, maggots undergo a remarkable metamorphosis. In about one to two weeks, they emerge as adult flies, ready to continue the life cycle by mating and laying eggs, perpetuating the cycle. And there you have it the incredible journey of how maggots come to life. For further details and reading materials, check the description below. Stay tuned with Mom's Medical for more fascinating updates. Don't forget to leave a thoughtful comment below. Until next time.